The amount of people that have asked for a tutorial to this shot is actually just nuts. It's it's called the curry hawk and I made it around one or two years ago. It's very flashy as you can see, like <laughs> you, you fly up and then the ball like just suddenly comes down. But it is very, very useful. I think it is the fastest possible chip in the game. It is pretty self-explanatory if you are good at this game, but if you're not, here you go. Here is a tutorial. So first of all, you want to learn how to high flick, which I did go over in this video, but you can try and use my quick tutorial here as well. Alright, so first you want to learn how to do a high flick, which is literally just long Z and then tackle C. So if you do that on a ball, it will go up very high. The second one is literally just shoot Z like that. And then if you combine these two, you can use it to flick the ball up and then bring it down over the keeper's head into the net. And now here are some extra tips for those of you who know the keybinds and can actually do the combos, but you still sort of struggle for some reason. But before that, I will show you what the average curry hawk attempt looks like from someone who doesn't actually know how to do it. People will come up to the ball and try and do this. And then like, it's just not going to work because you don't have the momentum, you don't have the time to actually hit the ball from the sky. Mistake one that people make is the actual approach. First of all, you want the ball to have momentum. So you have to start by kicking it. And then normally what I do is I sort of maneuver around the edge of the box. All right, we'll start by saying this is a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Let's just say there's a keeper there. When you're approaching, what I normally do is I come along to the side and then do that so I can get the perfect angle and score it. So you sort of really just want to run along the edge of the box so that you can you can ease in and not just go too far and, you know, close to the keeper. Tip number two, I would say is, and this is a big one. Most people who curry hook, they do not know this tip. So what you do, if you're going to curry hook, you want to jump beforehand, so you want to do that, and then that, and then that. You have to get that jump in beforehand, because that will give you like a much higher chance of actually landing it. Because if not, you don't get the perfect touch on the high flick. You know, a lot of times you'll do this, and then it'll just fly off, like that. So normally, I just like to jump beforehand, because you land straight on top of the ball, and it'll go straight up. Alright, so when you do approach the net for a curry hawk, just make sure you jump twice. So there's number one and there's number two, just like that. And finally, just remember that you don't want to spam this shot because it is like technically it's very easy to save if the keeper knows it's coming. But if the keeper's just rushing you from here, then that's like the perfect point because they can't do anything if you flick up. You high flick and then flick it back down. They are screwed. They can't run back to the net in time because it's such a fast chip. So if I did this and the keeper's like rushing me from there, what are they meant to do about this? Like. On a real one, they can't really do much. The shot on its own, if the keeper isn't rushing you, it's not very overpowered, it's not really difficult to save if they're actually good. So just just be wary. You can probably score pretty easily on a standard keeper with it, but intermediate and advanced keepers will not just concede it if they are still in the net when you do it. As fast as it is for a chip, it is technically a slow ball. Oh yeah, and bonus tip, you can curve it, all right? So this, is, this might be a bit more advanced, but you wanna come back down on the ball, Right, and you want to release long before you do the high flick. And that way, it will do something like that, and it will just curve as you flick. And if you combine that with a curry hook, you can do something pretty damn special. It will throw the keeper off, and like it is a pretty slow ball still, but the keeper can be thrown off by that little curve it adds, you know. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial has helped, and see you guys in the next video.